Yo, what's up guys, it's Jack from Nerd Out, and I have been absolutely addicted to the brand new Pokemon Let's Go games. So I decided to answer one of the most important questions in Pokemon history. Can you complete the game with nothing but a Caterpie? Oh no, no you can't. However, you can beat the game with nothing but a Caterpie and a Weedle. And here is how I did it. First, we had to choose an appropriate name for myself, my partner, and my rival. So meet Caterpie, not Caterpie, and Weedle. <laughs> so let's skip the beginning of the game where you battle your rival, get Oak's parcel, all that jazz, and skip straight to Viridian Forest. If I was going to do this, I knew I needed a high IV Caterpie, and I chose I was going to use a shiny one because, you know, why not? So I started my combo chain, and then after three and a half hours of hunting, I found a shiny Weedle. Oh no, a shiny Weedle! No! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> At this point though, I didn't know I was going to be using a Weedle, so I didn't catch it, and I ran away. But don't worry, five minutes later, a shiny Caterpie showed up, and our journey began. Shiny Caterpie! There we go! Let's go! <laughs> That's what we needed. So, the key to this challenge is candies. Candies boost your Pokemon's stats and, in my opinion, are extremely overpowered. However, it does allow you to realistically use any Pokemon you want. You can use up to 200 of a Pokemon's specific candy, boosting each stat by 200. However, this early in the game, we couldn't actually get any Caterpie candy. I'm not too sure why. However, we used all the health candy we had obtained through catching Caterpie and decided to try from there. My Caterpie was level 13 and it was time to take on our first big test, our rival, Weedle. And the fight was surprisingly easy. Pidgey fainting in one tackle and Eevee fainting in two. Oh, it's a god! This Caterpie is a god! <laughs> oh my god, look how buff this Caterpie is. It was actually here I realized I hadn't learnt Bug Bite yet, so I looked it up in Cerebi and yeah. Apparently level 9? There's level 15 on other gens, but... Oh, it doesn't learn Bug Bite. It doesn't learn Bug Bite. Even though I knew I would need a Weedle at some point, I decided to deal with that problem when it happened and carried on. So for Brock's gym, you need to show him a grass or water type if you want to challenge him. So someone in my Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash music by the way, was kind enough to send me a bell sprout for one of my many, many Caterpies, and I boxed the bell sprout straight away. Here is how the first gym battle went. Let's go. Right. You ready, Caterpie? Wait, you're not? You're nervous? Don't be nervous. I got a feeling we may have time to train a bit more. What level is this Geodude? Seven? Maybe not. How much does it hurt me by? Ah, oh, we got this. Come on, Caterpie, get a get a critical. Of course, there's the crit. The last hit, there's the crit. <laughs> Do I need to go heal? What's up? 22? Yeah, I don't, I don't need to heal. I got this. You ready? Boom, let's go, Camper. Oh, there's another Geodude. Okay. Oh, this one is defensive as heck, dude. Let's go. Two Geodudes down. This Caterpie's a monster. Yeah, Brock, I'm coming with a Caterpie, I'm what? The golden. Alright, that's one down. Question is, will we have enough tackles to take down? Because I can heal, but will we have enough tackles to take down on it and survive his rub though? Yeah, I don't think we can actually physically do this. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing it. Alright, we need to level up more. We learn, we've learned. That's a good thing though. We learn, we need to level up more. Okay, level more. So with that failure, I maxed out Canopy's attack with as much health candy as I possibly could, and tried again. Damn, I really don't do much damage to Conic though. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Oh, he got a crit. Of course he did. Oh, one more potion. Okay, now we just pray. I can only survive one more rock throw. Damn. Hmm. At this point, it was quite clear I also needed some attack investment, so I grinded out Nidorans for Mighty Candy, which boosts the attack, and invested in as much attack as possible. And now, with the super buff canopy, I tried once more. Right, Mr. Brock. I have brought Exodia, the one and only. Third time's a charm, right? Right, Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> it just does so much more damage than it did before. Holy shit. Let's go, Onyx. Who's the best worm? Let's find out! <laughs> How much damage is he gonna do to Onyx though? Oh lord! Yo! Oh, that's crit, okay. <laughs> but he dodges the chat attack as well! Yo, Exodia, let's go! 
This is the one. Yo, Canopy just eats that rock, man. Exodia, obliterate. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yo. Oh my god. Let's fucking go, man. I give this gym a difficulty rating of about 7 out of 10, purely because it's such a grind. So I did what many people thought I wouldn't be able to do, and I defeated Brock. But it wasn't until Mount Moon <laughs> we found out a real weakness. Oh, Magnemite. Okay, okay. It ain't gonna be a one-shot. Ain't gonna be a two-shot either. At least I didn't get confused, that's good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Damn! Damn you! We also found out that we couldn't fight Jesse and James without two Pokemon, so we took this opportunity to find our shiny Weedle. And it really didn't take very long. Oh, that was, that was fast! Yo! That was so fast! <laughs> shiny Weedle, let's go! <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Get ready. Oh, Shiny Weedle, let's go. That was so fast! Yay, Shiny Weedle, let's go! Then we buffed up Weedle as much as possible, went back to Mount Moon, and Jesse and James were super easy this time. After Mount Moon, we made it to Cerulean City, faced our rival Weedle again, and defeated the Nugget Bridge pretty easily. Then we decided to take on Misty. Let's go, Gym Leader Misty. The level is at 18. Okay, not, not bad level. Oh, damn. I, I just did damage. I just did so much damage. And you did, like, 11 damage to me. Let's go! Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> Let's go! Katapi only for the win. Honestly, Misty was a breeze and I defeated her first attempt. The only thing with Misty is she burned me with Scald, which was kind of a little bit annoying. I give this gym a difficulty rating of 2 out of 10. After Misty, I made my way to Vermilion, cleared through the SSN with pretty much no problem, and headed to the gym. I did make a mistake before this gym and I forgot I couldn't get back to Viridian Forest to train my Pokemon up until I defeated Surge. So that did make this battle a little tougher. Right. I ain't afraid of you, Lieutenant Surge. I mean, if you have a Magnemite, it's gonna be a bit of a beef. However, your Raichu should be fine. Let's do this! I'll shock you into surrender, and I will kinda pee you into next week. Let's go! Let's go. Okay, it does a decent amount. Do I do more to you than you do to me? No. Need you to use a different move, please. Actually, I've got next special defense as well. I should've used that, damn it. Oh, I should have got a Pikachu boost. Damn it. Use a different move, please. Whee. Okay, I have an idea. I think Weedle can take moves a bit better than Caterpie because he's got some de defense investment. Not much better, but what I can do, use the super potion on Exodia. And use another super potion on Exodia. Okay, now let's use a, a super potion on Caterpie. No! That is not what we wanted. Please shrug it off this turn. I'm still faster than you while paralyzed. We have to hit. Yes, there we go. Right, okay. <coughs> We're all good. We're all good. Magnemite's gone. Let, let's switch into Caterpie for Raichu. Right, see if we can get a bit of poison going. Do we reckon my tackle will kill it? Beck it. Yes! Let's go, Exodia! Let's go! <laughs> you got me scared then, Exodia. Not happy. Oh, yikes. I'm sorry. Shall I put myself on this side? Would it be, like, better to be on this side? We did it! Lieutenant Surge is down! This battle was definitely harder than Misty, and I did make it harder on myself. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a difficulty rating of 5 out of 10. From here, I decided to head back to Viridian Forest, get as many candies as possible for Caterpie and Weedle, and here was the end result. Right. Guys, this is what the team now looks like. Exodia is at level 40 with 297 HP, 244 attack, <laughs> 248 defense, 250 speed, and 238 special defense, 233 attack. A special attack, sorry. And then we have Caterpie, the Weedle. 283 HP, 241 attack, 233 defense, 242 speed, 230 special defense, and 229 attack. 
We are gonna win this game with nothing but these two bad boys right here. This made the game so much easier. Rock tunnel, easy. Solid on gym, easy. Guess you're gonna win this gym? Of course I'm gonna win this gym. Look, boom, let's go Tangela. Oh, I do I do a nice amount of damage there. Moonblast? I didn't see Moonblast coming, I'm not gonna lie. Oh damn, critical hit, let's go. And a weeping bell, weeping bell should be fine. Yo, we lost like zero health! Oh my lord! Damn, that was insane. Gym 4 is down, let's do this. Difficulty rating of 1 out of 10 by the way. The game corner, tedious, but easy. Giovanni, easy. You slash, look at it. That was also a crit, yikes. You suck as a boss. What can I say? I'm just a god. Let's just send out Rhyhorn. The his Rhydon will be a problem. Can't even hit me! Exodia is too powerful! Okay, he hit me this time. But that's another point. That's simple. Giovanni defeated. Give me the gym badge. I'll take the eighth gym right now, please. Thank you. And that brings us to Lavender Town. And for me, this was the hardest part of the entire game. Ghost Pokemon suck. The only move I can hit the ghastly line with is Poison Stink. And with it being four times resisted, it did absolutely nothing. So this was a long, very tedious, and mind-numbing process. However, we pushed through and unlocked the saddest cutscene in Pokemon history. This is ridiculously sad, dude. Man, it's so sad. With Lavender Town complete, Fuchsia lay ahead. And the requirement for this gym is the dumbest thing in the Pokemon game ever. So I had to set off and catch 50 unique Pokemon till two hours later I could take on the gym. And with that came more Haunters. Oh, a Haunter? Shit. I hate Haunter. Turns out that the trainers in the gym were actually harder than the gym leader himself. However, Koga's poison protect technique was so irritating. Oh yeah, explosion? I gotta live that okay, right? Oh wow, explosion did nothing, dude. Holy crap. Oh, I hate toxic man, I hate him. We've got one more full heal. I have to time it right. Come on, you can shake this poison. No, you can't. Okay. That's right, Caterpie. Let's go. Dodia's about to level up as well. I need you to shake this off, bro. Keep battling. Alright, Moke should be able to take a couple hits. Sludge Bomb shouldn't do too much. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, now I should use the full heal. Okay. Now I will tackle. Okay, please shake it off. Please shake it off. You leveled up and everything. Please, come on. Oh. All right, we. Oh no, I meant to switch so I could reset the poison. Let's switch to reset the poison. Damn, when did gym leaders learn to toxic stall, dude? Oh, psychic. That's nice. Oh, that did a good 20 damage. Hold on, one more tackle. Oh, he just obliterated! Exodia, you're obliterate! Let's go. We did it. This battle was probably a little bit harder than Brock, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Next up was Sylphco. And honestly, there's not much to say here. Defeated everyone with relative ease and moved on to Saffron Gym. I see you, Mr. Mime, and I raise you a weed. Okay. Oh, that was a crit? <laughs> For some reason, the canopy is just so much. Stop fucking yawning! Caterpie is so much stronger than the Weedle, and I have no idea why. About to send out Jinx? Bruh! I ain't afraid of no Jinx! Does that look like I'm afraid of Jinx to you? They're gonna make me sleep. Caterpie, wake up! 
how can I how can he hear my shout, avoid the move, but be asleep? Hello? Gotta pee. Obliterate. Let's go! We got six badges, baby! Oh, we are so close. I can taste it. This battle was easy, but Sabrina loves to put your Pokemon to sleep. She also has some bulky Pokemon. I give her a 3 out of 10. Seaform Island. We decided to take on Articuno just to test out Caterpie's power. Wow, that sucks. At this point, we knew they were unstoppable. It was time for Blaine, and I wasn't too sure how much of a threat his fire type team would be. And well, I'll let you see for yourself. Oh, they talk about my. Alright, Blaine. Blaine, 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 Blaine. Let's go. You wanna bring a magma to a Caterpie fight? Oh no. No, Confuser. Exodia has this history of killing himself in confusion. Let's go, Exodia. Let's do this. No, Goldman, but he'd have. Like a level 4 can have the level the stats of a level 60. Exodia! Let's go, buddy! Yeah, look at that. Damaged by the recoil. Now I can one shot you. You shouldn't have done that. I snapped out confusion. We got this so easy. Let's go, let's go. I love my Caterpie. <laughs> but disappointing you didn't dab. Yo, they talk about my dabs! Exodia! Obliterate! Badge 7! We've done it! We have done it! Badge 7! I give Blaine a 2 out of 10. However, his opening line is a straight 11 out of 10. From here, we went straight to Viridian Gym and took on Giovanni for the third time. Boom. Bada bing. Boom. Pow. Let's see here. I might have to bring in the second controller. I don't think I will, but let's have a look. Hmm. How much does it do to me? Yeah, we're bringing in the second control. Hit it with that poison sting, get the poison. Got a peek and take some damage, that's fine. Crit, well done, Exodia. Poison sting, land the poison. There we go, we got this. Oh, he didn't, he didn't actually use an item. Let's go. Exodia! Obliterate! Eighth badge, let's go. Oh my lord, we're nearly there. Oh, we are nearly there. Eighth badge. His Pokemon were bulky, but they didn't pose a threat. I give him a three out of ten. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. The Elite Four. <laughs> this is where I'm going to shoot up for a bit and I'll let you see what happens. All right. I think this one will be pretty easy. This one's going to be fine. Oh, we got the poison. There we go. Do gong gong. Do gone, man. Do gong. More like Dugon. <laughs> we get the poison. Get rid of the Slowbro here. Oh, we didn't get it. Okay. Oh, she didn't use Full Restore. Okay. Slowbro. More like no bro. <laughs> I'm fine with Jinx. Jinx can hit pretty hard with the Psychic though. Oh, yikes. I hit Jinx so hard. I think she jinxed herself with that one. Okay, I'll stop now. All right, Cloyster is probably going to be the hardest one. I just take hits so well. It's insane. And here it is, the infamous Lapras. Nice critical hit, critical hit, like it. I'm poisoned, this is it. I did a critical, let's go. The first of the Elite Four is done. Exodia, obliterate. <laughs> let's go. Next is Bruno. Okay, so Bruno should be pretty okay, apart from his Onyx. That may cause me some problems. Oh, his Onyx is first. Look at the size difference, dude. Look at that. <laughs> we need to get the poison on the Onyx. That was a crit. Yo, that was a crit stab earthquake. Let's go. Onyx is down. Let's go. Yo, that him only just did as much damage to me in one move than Onyx did it in like four. Surprised we haven't got a, a poison yet, dude. Easy. Thank you. Next. The next one is gonna be the scary one. Alright, Polyrath. Polyrath shouldn't be too hard. Not a single poison. Alright. Bruno's down! We did it! Alright, is this Agatha? This is Agatha. Okay. Okay, you start with Arbok. Gotta figure out of his paralysis. That's good. I'm good, dude. I'm super hyped. This is 
the battle. Oh, you withdrew Arbok and out Golbat. Right, here comes the tough ones. Okay, so Caterpie can't hit Gengar. I can only use Poison Sting. Okay, and he will have wisp me, so now he burnt me. But with Caterpie, I can get rid of the burn. The next attack, and Caterpie again. Now he should be at plus 5 attack. X attack. Maximum attack, and he still only does... Oh, he does a decent amount. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. <laughs> Boom. That's it. This is how we defeat Agatha. Our box gone. That's it. That's it. We did it. Agatha is gone. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 don't evolve. Please don't. We've come all this way. Don't evolve now. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this is it. This is it, boys. On Caterpie, I know you can do it. Oh, now you poison? Okay. Okay, Cedar's down. See, this is the one I think I'm going to struggle on a bit. I was kind of relying on the poison, but I don't actually think I need to. Oh, if, I, if I've got the Aerodactyl, I've got this. Yo, I think I'm going to do this. And there's the poison. I don't think the poison is going to actually matter. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, perfect. I Aerodactyl! Oh, we're so close! Exodia! Obliterate! Yes! <laughs> I hate to admit it, but you're a first class trainer! Let's freaking go! This is it! This is it! This is the moment we've been waiting for! Caterpie, Weedle, you got this! Oh, I don't have the Pikachu boost! Okay, it's okay. I don't need it. Oh, you Mega Evolving! Oh, Mega Pidgeot! Okay! I see you! I see you! I see you, buddy! I see you hitting me with that 8. That's the most any Pokemon has done to me this whole journey. You you withdrew. You withdrew? Hello? Under the crit. Let's go, Exodia! I love you, dude. Weedle, you suck. Oh, okay. He, he had a full restore. That's kind of awkward, isn't it? Holy crap, you do a lot now. We have to do one more Obliterate for the last one. Exodia! Obliterate! Oh, I love this! I love this! <laughs> you can use Psychic, bro. I ain't even scared, man. I ain't even scared. Exodia! Obliterate! Oh, yes! <laughs> Jolteon, I ain't afraid of no Jolteon. Let's see if I can do it. Exodia! Obliterate! Oh, yes! It feels so good, man! <laughs> Will I one-shot a Vile Plume? I ain't, I ain't giving Weedle the satisfaction. Exodia! Obliterate! Oh, um... <clears throat> Exodia! For one last time! Obliterate! Oh, fuck. <laughs> For one last time! Exodia! Obliterate! Let's go! We did it. We actually did it. That's nutty, dude. Oh my god, that took so long! And that was it! I had done it! I beat the entire game with nothing but a Caterpie and a Weedle. However, I wasn't the true Caterpie Master yet. Caterpie Master Jack, are you ready? I see your Caterpie. And raise you, Exodia! <laughs> Yo, who, who's got the superior Caterpie here? Don't see your Caterpie dodging moves, buddy. Mine is Caterpie. Dab, 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 dab on the Caterpie. Exodia! Obliterate! Oh, this feels so good, dude. You definitely deserve the title of Caterpie Master. Damn right, I do. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
This entire adventure was live streamed on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash nerdatmusic. And as a celebration for completing this journey, we are now hunting for 100 shiny Caterpie. And then I'll be giving them all away to you guys. So make sure you come check it out. If you'd like to see any other challenges on any game, make sure you leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be very much appreciated and feel free to hit that subscription button. And I'll see you next time. Peace.